Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss one interview question so in Core Java. So, what is that? What are the limitations of a constructor, a default constructor? See the question. Question What are the limitations of default constructor? Default constructor. Right. So, first of all we know what is the default constructor. Right. So, if you are not writing any constructor in a Java source program, the compiler will supply is automatically a constructor with 0 arguments and empty body. So, that is what we call the default constructor we know. But now, sir what are the limitations? What are the limitations? See, suppose here so we are writing the class the class test consider class test. So, in the test class we are writing only main method public static void main string arcs string arcs only this much so, we are writing and here we are not writing any constructor definition in this program there so, is no problem at the time of compilation the compiler will supply a constructor like this constructor name class name same 0 arguments and with empty body empty body. So, whenever we are creating object constructor so we are calling at the time of object creation only. So, whenever we are creating object we are calling constructor it will invoke the default constructor. So, though we are not writing ok. So, now what are the limitations means for example, externally if you write any constructor suppose I am writing arguments constructor we are writing and some logic inside arguments constructor we are writing. So, now so whenever we are creating object and here it is we are calling 0 arguments constructor and we are thinking that. So, anyway, so though we are not writing compiler will supply the default constructor, but in this case the compiler does not supply the default constructor. So, because already constructor definition is present, it is present. So, here you will get error message, error, so no default constructor. So, what are the limitations? Compiler supplies the default constructor only if you are not providing any constructor definition in a Java source code. So, remember if you specify or if you write any arguments constructor then compiler will not write the constructor. So, then what we have to do in that case you have to write so 0 arguments constructor also explicitly. Suppose here, here we are writing default constructor explicitly some logic logic. So, now both the constructors you have to define arguments constructor and 0 arguments constructor. Now, the, it is your wish if you want to call our 0 arguments constructor then 0 arguments constructor executes. Now, it will not give any error message any error message ok. So, what is a default constructor and what are the limitations right hope you understood very well. So, thank you for more videos please subscribe to Naresh ID channel. Thank you.